Last time I chatted about LEGO minifigs, I showcased how you could get every minifigure donning the classic spacesuit adorned with that iconic logo from the late 70s. I couldn't believe there were so many of them. Eleven, at last count. Well, eleven and a half, actually. But doesn't anyone find these figs a little too simplistic? I mean, it's just a giant logo on their chest, no other print, not even the visor. Why are they so revered? Nostalgia. Of course. Plus, the simplicity is part of the charm, clock. However, LEGO have used that classic space logo on other, more detailed minifigures over the years, and we're going to be looking at those now. And you'll be pleased to know that this time, there won't be any need for questionable minifig surgeries like we had to do for the grey and especially the purple classic spaceman. Ah, music to my ears. And as before, we'll give you the right reference number for each of them, so you can easily find the ones you're interested in through Brinkling. So, shortly after the classic space era ended, LEGO introduced a new wave of space adventurers known as Futurons. They too had that classic space logo, but the torso was more intricate, with a giant diagonal zipper on a two-tone torso and the logo top right. This red Futuron was not as popular as their original red spaceman, appearing in only two sets between 1987 and 88. At the same time, we have blue Futurons in six sets from 87 up to 1990, the yellow Futuron in a whopping 12 sets, and the black Futuron in three from 88 to 89. Weren't there other colors in that wave? I think you're thinking of the black and yellow and the red and green variants, but those weren't part of the actual wave, but were in an exclusive education set known as the Dacta Space Set from 1991. Due to their unique and rare nature, I thought I wouldn't include them in this list. Fair enough. LEGO retired the Futurons in 1990 and moved to the Space Police theme, which, to me at least, felt like a rush decision because they simply reused the black Futuron print. Gave them different colored hands and legs, a red visor, and called it a day. That space police figure appeared in seven sets between 89 and 1991. And would you believe that this was the last time a minifigure wore that logo until 2003? Twelve years is a long time to wait for that logo to go back into space. Oh, it didn't come back for a space theme. It first started its comeback with a red jacket in Lego City theme. This design actually appeared in 11 sets between 2003 and 2010. Oh, I like that one. It was a nicely detailed jacket, and for once, the logo was on the right. That jacket kept this classic space logo flame alive. And in 2009, the classic space logo finally returned to space. Well, kinda. W what do you mean, kinda? It was part of a Space Police 3 set, the Galactic Enforcer, but no minifig wore it, it came back as part of a statue. Like a monument to a long dead logo. Maybe that was the intention. But everything started to change with the introduction of the collectible minifigure series in 2010. This ongoing and highly popular minifig only series allowed for unique characters and the very first series contained the astronaut who sported the iconic logo in the middle of his breastplate. We're back in space! Baby. The design of the spacesuit felt very primitive to me, what with the air tubes and all. It felt more like an underwater suit, truth be told. Well, underwater or space-based, it had that logo, and that's what's important. Right you are, Gigi. A couple of years later saw the introduction of the intergalactic girl in the sixth collectible series. A lovely detailed pink spacesuit and a sassy expression. Kinda reminds me of River Song in a way. Wrong franchise, buddy. 2012 wasn't done without logo, and in the very next series, we got the Galaxy Patrol minifigure. This one looked like a Graf Space Marine with his hefty space armor and that logo on both his reinforced shoulders. Space is a dangerous place. I could see a few of these tackling the brick-built xenomorphs we designed. <laughs> that would certainly justify their existence for sure. A couple of years later, in 2014, we were introduced to the Space Miner. I like that one. A nice combination of colors, which made it easier to discern its details. But it just felt like a variation on a theme right after the Galaxy Patrol guy, and that was reinforced by the Miner also having the logo on their armored left shoulder. 2015 saw something special. The new Futuron minifig. Ah, oh, they revived the theme for that year? Not exactly. It was actually part of a city set, the City Square to be precise. 
And no, this wasn't a new spaceman, but a sort of life-size mannequin for the Lego store on that square. <laughs> I find it funny that Lego minifigs get to shop in Lego stores. Well, mannequin or not, it looked like a Futuron outfit. Diagonal zipper, two-tone uniform and all, and it was green, introducing a new color to the collection. Just one year after Lego had introduced the green classic space minifigs, in the exosuit set. Green was definitely the color of Lego space at that time. We're jumping back to the collectible minifigures in 2016 as the new astronaut was introduced with the 15th series. Another minifig called Astronaut. Like that won't be confusing at all. I quite like that one. It feels more reminiscent of actual spacesuits without any tubes coming out of it like the 2010 version had. That new one is definitely much more detailed than that old one. Impressive what six years of design can do, eh? And I love the printed flag he came with. After that, we had a gap of five years before the 2021 collectible minifigs brought back a modernized version of the very first Space Police guy. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. On the one hand, it's a highly detailed version of the most simplistic space police from the 1990s, but on the other, it showcases the disturbing militarization of the police that we've witnessed over the last few decades in the real world, as this one comes with a riot shield, body armor, and what I can only assume is a powerful energy weapon. Can't say I'm a fan. And finally, 2024 saw the release of the 26 collectible minifigure series, and with it, was the spacewalking astronaut. Except it's practically the exact same print as the astronaut from 2016. Okay, he's got all his spacewalking backpack thingamajig, which is nice, don't get me wrong, but print-wise, it's a bit of a disappointment. It's true. Look at the improvements between the first collectible minifigure and the one from 2016. And then, hardly any change after eight years. Bit of a cop-out, I have to agree. Despite that, it's clear the success of the ongoing collectible series have kept the classic space logo alive and relevant for the last 14 years. Ah, uh, but what about the more modern outfits? You know, those that appeared in 2020, 2022 and 2024. Those, Commander, will be the subject of a future video as they were part of entire waves rather than being one-off minifigures and they deserve special attention. Until then, I hope you enjoyed our trip down memory lane. Uh, haven't you forgotten something? Mm, no, I think they're all here, present and correct. But what about the new Futuron uniform? The one from the BAM offering earlier in the year? Of course, but this one wasn't an actual minifig, and as it was part of the build the minifigure section, you could assemble it however you liked. Still, its torso has that sleek, modernized Futuron look, especially when coupled with unprinted white legs. It's a cool outfit and would be a great addition to anyone's collection. So, that's quite a list, eh? What about space babies? Great iridescent egg, do we have to include those? I mean, whose bright idea was it to not only bring babies into space, one of the most dangerous environments out there, but to don them with space suits? I mean, babies can't move around on their own. They can't even hold their heads up, let alone control their bowels. Leave them on Earth, where it's much safer if you ask me, where they can poo wherever they like. You make excellent points, McClock, but Gigi is right too, and those baby minifigs need to be included. The very first Space Baby appeared in 2023 with the 24th collectible series, alongside the brown classic space astronaut. The worst color yet. Hey, UPS people might disagree. I think you'll find the UPS people may be the first to agree. Uh, can we get back on track? Sorry. Sorry. As I was saying, that minifig also came with the very first space baby with a blue spacesuit. And people went nuts for it! <laughs> so much so, the 26 series in 2024 introduced a pink version. Alongside the excellent robot nurse. Oh, I find her a bit spooky. But that's not all. 2024 also saw the introduction of a special gift with purchase set, a space base manned by space babies. Didn't take long to make toddlers work. What about child labor laws, eh? Questionable labor practices aside, that set showcased another blue space baby, but with a different face print this time, and a white one too. The face print was reminiscent of the original Lego smiley faces. Four space babies. The invasion has truly started. There goes our health and safety regulations. What is the universe coming to? So there you have it. 
every LEGO minifig sporting a classic space logo from Futurons to Space Babies. Do you have all of them yourself? Which is your favorite? Which is your white whale? Let us know in the comments and we'll speak to you next time.